My friend Dada is accusing me of stealing her $1,000 rent check. I'm here because I'm being accused of stealing the money. I wasn't there. I didn't know nothing about it. Me and Dada has been friends for over 20 years. Uh, we're like sisters. We're all longtime friends. Me, Tequila, and Dada. But Dada and Tequila are longer friends. They've been 20 plus years. Me and Tequila have been friends about 11 years. Dada said I'm the number one suspect, and it feels hurtful. But it's Tequila who is accusing me and throwing me under the bus. The day the money came up missing, we all had a long, stressful week of work. We wanted to let our hair down, hang out, kick it, go to the casino. Had a lot of laughs, ended the night. The next morning, after I got off of work, Dada had called me and asked me had I seen her money order. I told her I have not and have never seen it. Maybe Dada misplaced it. Maybe Dada don't remember what she did with it. We was a little intoxicated. Maybe Dada threw the money order away by mistake. Dada didn't really accuse me. I didn't know nothing. She was trying to get a hold of me. Tequila is my friend, and she act like she didn't know how to get a hold of me. She couldn't contact me. So that's what made it suspicious. I did not steal her money, and I would never have stole anything from my friend. I will not steal from her or any of my friends. I don't appreciate how Tanisha and Dada ganged up on me to make me feel like I was the guilty one. It made me angry that they came to me like I was just this thief and they know me as a thief and we know you did it, give it back type of, yeah, and it peed me off. Behind my back, Tequila said she would have never brought me if she thought I was steal from her. Me and Dada has been friends for so long, she only knows Tanisha through me and she was allowing Tanisha to speak for her and not speak up for me. Tanisha said to me, like, give it back. I know you got it. I think Tequila is guilty of stealing the money because she didn't call me. She didn't contact me. She, I talked to her after the money came up missing. She didn't let me know that it came up missing. She didn't say nothing about the money order until Dada reached out to me through a friend on Facebook. And then once she found out that we were communicating, then she were not answering our phone calls. We were going by her house. She wasn't there. And so that's why we like it's suspicious. If Dada didn't misplace it, there's only one explanation. Tanisha took the money. Tequila is the one who said that it was in a white envelope and she's seen the envelope underneath my pants. The white envelope could have been in Tanisha's back pocket. I'm not for sure or for certain. Tequila would not even look Dada in the eye. That's her longtime friend. She wouldn't communicate, and she was trying to avoid her. I want Tanisha and Dada to know that I did not touch, see, or steal no money order. And I did not appreciate how they jumped in my car to make it seem like I was an old petty thief. I know I'm going to pass, but if Tequila fails, our friendship is over. Dada has been knowing me for over 20 years. We lived together. I have never stole from her, and she doesn't know me to be a thief. I wanted Dada to take the lie detector test because if I say I'm telling the truth and I pass, and Tanisha's telling the truth and she passed, where is the money? Are you kind of certain that one of the two stole the money? Yes. Yeah. And I, I I believe it was Tequila because your close friend. Yeah, I believe Tequila. Why did would it. she steal from you? I don't know. I, I would hope not, but she was the last person in my house. Yeah. You know, we should have the expectation of and it was, security in our own house, mm -hmm. right? You don't think like, well, I got to hide something because my friend's coming over. No, yeah. and I didn't want to hide it because I would have forgot to put it in a drop box. Right. When did you notice that the money order was gone? Um, after I woke up, after uh, Tequila left my door open, um, we went out that night, and Tequila and Tanisha dropped me off at home. When we got home, Tanisha and sister, or Tequila insisted on coming upstairs to use my restroom. What did Tequila say about Tanisha's involvement? She said that uh, she saw her at the casino that night with like something that might look like a white envelope in her back pocket. Did you, did you make a police report? Yes. Yeah. And, but, and me being a former policeman, 
It ain't yeah, going nowhere. Yeah, I mean, you know, if somebody loses a thousand bucks on the streets, they, it's gone. Yeah, they basically the police said um, they took names and everything, but the police they said that it wasn't nothing that, that they could really do because the right. door was left open, so anybody could have just walked in there. Right. You is bogus. What happened to the money, Tequila? You is so bogus, Dada. You're not even stating whole facts. I never said I couldn't come up with the money to move into my crib, first off. Second off, I'm moving Friday, payday. I work too, second off. You never even came to me. We've been friends far too long. You could have came to me. And no, we was not sitting at no table. And no, I wasn't answering my phone. I text you. And what I say, I'm at work. No, you never answered. You never answered I at all. I text you. I called Y'all you. called me over Tequila, and over and over, over again. and over and over and over. I'm at and work. if somebody calling you that much, they want something. So I felt but like I'm you could have. You could have said something. I'm, that I, so I why do was it so, care. Why was it so I'm hard? changing. Why was but it so hard to get a hold of um, Tanisha? Tanisha, I gave you what name I thought was her Facebook name. Tanisha has four different Facebook accounts. All of them have different names. Yeah. Hi, Tanisha. Um, really kind of heated, right? Yes. You know, the th how would you say all three of you are very close? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then one night you're going to the casino for a mm -hmm. night out, and uh, she comes home, da da, and she realizes the money order is gone. Right. Yeah. Now. She's been friends with Tequila for 18 years. I mm -hmm. guess they used to live together. You've been friends uh, for a shorter period, right? Right. How for, long? Well, Tequila, 10 years, and Dada, probably about five. OK. But you would say you're close mm -hmm. friends? Would you steal the money from no. her? No. Um, did you steal the money? No. Why do you, but you think Tequila stole the money. I think Tequila took the money because she lied about how to get a hold of me. She knew how to get a hold of me. We hang out every day. And if so you're is... not some mysterious woman with all these mysterious Facebook accounts? No. She know exactly how to press that button and get a hold of me. We okay. talk after that happened. She never told me about the money order. She never, we've talked twice. And she never said, oh, Dada, money order came missing. Dada, a friend reached out to me on Facebook. And I'm like, why is she calling me on Facebook? So I called Dada. She like, girl, my money order is missing. And I'm like, why Tequila didn't call me? So I hangs up with her and I try to call Tequila, no answer. I'm like, okay, we're going to her house. Dada said, I'm getting off work. We goes over there, she's not home. So I'm like, we wait a few days, we go back over there. She's there, she's cleaning and scrubbing the floor. She wouldn't talk to us. She's basically like, she don't got time for this. She have to go to work, but this is your friend. She's gonna be out in the street. Yeah. You should be, let's figure this out. Yeah. There's gonna be no fighting, right? No, we talking, we good yeah. friends. But I gotta be comfortable for this. Your whole story just sounds. Y'all did not come to my house and then see me a couple days later. Y'all went to my house. My kids told y'all I was at work. I met y'all as soon as I got off. Okay, of work. I understand that. But if that girl, right. if you're, but I'm a liar and I'm a thief. But you love me. Yeah, I love you. But girl. if your friend, if your friend, money ought to come up. Why you didn't call me? You know how to get a hold of me. We talk every day. We don't every talk morning. Th Every morning, Tequila. We done We live four about minutes away this. from each other. You know Tanisha. exactly where I live at. Why you didn't bring her to my house when that money order came up missing? Why you didn't call me and say, look, friend, my friend said her money order was coming up missing. You and I was there. You didn't let me know. And I talked to you the next day for like two, 20 minutes, twice. You didn't say, oh, that money order. You was like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to come out today. I got to work. You never said nothing about her money order came up missing. <laughs> Stand up. Why are you tired of standing up? You've been sitting down all night, all day. You should be wanting to stand up. You should stand up. It's Talk a, to your it's friend. A so situation. you know, it's kind of interesting here. Uh, you've been friends with Tequila for a long time, and Tanisha and Tequila are closer friends than you, according to them. And she mm -hmm. says, "Listen, I love Tequila, but she's a liar and a thief, but she's still my friend." And mm -hmm. I changed and came up missing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little things, cigarettes, little things, you know, but I didn't come to you because... And I talked to you, you at c cigarettes? Tanisha, you ain't never got your own pack of cigarettes. You smoke blacks, remember? Does anybody think Dada is lying about the money being stolen? No. Not one person. Does anybody think that Tanisha is lying? No. Not one person? No. Okay, one. Who thinks that Tequila's lying? 
Keila took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you take Dada's money order? She answered no. She told the truth. What? Huh? Huh? Uh, Tanisha took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you take Dada's money order? She answered no. The result for her lie detector test is that Tanisha did not tell the oh. truth. Steve. Are you serious? Are you serious? I didn't take no money order from her. Do you believe that? I didn't take no money order from you, Donna. Oh, I need a lawyer. I'm going to another lie detector test. We're going to another one. I promise you, you're probably, oh, my baby. You're probably going to need a lawyer, but I don't know. I never know. took no money. I, I don't even have one. This is weird. OK. I, yeah. No, no, it is weird. I'm lost for words. I, I never took no money from her. Yeah. And this is all my. You came across very credible, but you know. I never took no money, did, so you is you serious? Oh, you're a boy. We coming yeah. back. Yeah, this hope, is weird. I would love that. Yeah, I will too. Uh, Cause bring, this, I ain't never take no money from her. To bring that lawyer, I ain't never take good. no money from her. What I wanna, hold on. What do you want to say? To her? No, I want to go home. This is weird. This is real weird. That's how I know his. his if you want to go, you no, know what? Steve, I don't. No, I don't want to go. Okay. Because but you got to be quiet. Okay, I'm You got to be quiet. What do you want to say to her? Never take. Money, man. This is crazy. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike, you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm you, sorry you're Mike. a thief. You're a liar. I'm Get sorry. the hell off my stage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, this was tough. Can you mend your relationship? It's up to her. If she don't want to be my, my friend, I, more, I can understand. You're, uh... Damn, you're... I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody was listening to the... I was. Yeah. Okay, so, Tanisha, you're gonna go home and f f tell the police that she yeah. told the slide to take us? Okay. We're gonna give you a thousand bucks. Oh, thank you, Steve. Thank you, your hand. Thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> we, you know, listen. I think everybody can understand what it's like to, you know, struggle to pay rent, struggle to pay bills, um, especially now. I mean, it's tough for everybody. You know, when we go through life and we have close friends of 18 years, also, that's even worse than losing money. So I hope you guys can fix this up. I hope the $1,000 helps you. And good luck to you, okay? Thank Very you, nice. Steve. Yeah. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.